All week long here at the Weather Channel, we're highlighting the growing risk to our nation's city from sea level rise. Now, earlier this month, NOAA upped its projection for higher sea levels by 2100. The new projected range for global sea level rise went from just under one foot to now just over eight feet. Yeah, today we take a look at how population along the coastal cities could be affected. Uh, it could mean disaster for people who live along Louisiana's southern coast. With the threat of rising water and more frequent flooding, the state's Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority have drafted a plan to elevate homes or to buy out residents in 32 areas across the state. Now, under the proposed plan, people who live in Slidell, a city that was hit hard by Hurricanes Isaac and Katrina, would be eligible for elevation grants. All right, let's turn up our attention to another city here uh, in Miami, for example, where the population has exploded over mm -hmm. the past three decades and continues to explode. Right, urban flooding uh, is, look at the urban flooding growth from Google Earth and NASA. Since 1984, you can see how rural areas have disappeared. According to a census report, since 1980, 1 1.7 million additional people now call just Miami-Dade we're talking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. home. It's growing at a rate of nearly 50,000 people per year. Not a lot of open space. Let's take a look at the same area. Area, this time with NOAA's projected eight foot sea level rise, which is the highest they predict. But even half of this, you could imagine what it would do. All right. Now, right now, we want to talk with someone in Miami Dade about the uh, dire projection. Kate Hegeman uh, is the Sustainability and Initiatives Coordinator for Miami Dade County. Good morning, Kate. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, what is your reaction to this report, or is it just bad news on top of bad news? Well, it's certainly not good news, but I think that we weren't surprised when we saw the report. A lot of the scientific studies that have come out over the last two years have indicated that sea level um, is rising faster than uh, predicted. A lot of the melting and the polar um, and the large ice sheets have been faster than predicted as well. Okay, so what do you see as the biggest threat with this projected sea level rise? I think that the most extreme scenarios would obviously be quite um, quite an issue for us in Miami. One of the most important things is the rate we see sea level. If it's a, a slower rate, we can adapt and move incrementally. Those higher rates are going to pose a real challenge um, to our infrastructure, to, um, to our long-range planning. So, you know, where are you in that planning? I mean, I, I've been down in Miami a few times. I've been in the financial district. There are cranes everywhere. The building is incredible. It doesn't seem like they're taking uh, this data into account yet. There is a lot of growth. It's a great place to live. Uh, as a resident of Miami, it's pretty fun. But uh, we have our focus within the Office of Resilience is on looking at our own infrastructure. So the publicly owned infrastructure, um, we're hardening that, elevating that, and also integrating sea level rise into our long-range planning and comprehensive land use as well. There's also a lot of outreach that's going on to residents to try and make sure that everyone is also um, doing what they can to make sure that they know if their property is at risk of flooding. Make sure, of course, that they're prepared for a hurricane in the event that we have one this season. Um, so trying to get the, um, the public as well to understand what the risks are of living in a community like Miami that's so close to the sea. So right now it's just a lot of planning. There's no, nothing actually happening at this moment along the coast. What about in the inland areas? Well, just to direct that, we do have elevations that are going on in terms of installing additional pumps, elevating roadways, elevating infrastructure, and hardening our infrastructure against inundation.